um, I think it's helped me identify what my what my purpose is, why what I'm all about. Um, I think that has crystallized over the last maybe ten years. And ten years ago, if somebody asked me, uh, "What's your life all about?" I'm not sure I could have answered. But now I'm very, very clear what it is, and it is about helping people to have productive conversations, no matter what the topic of the conversation is. But productive in the sense that it will move the group forward to to do what it wants and needs to do. So, so. So it's helped me also identify things I want to work on and things I'm not interested about. I'm not interested in doing evaluations, for example, um, as an expert coming in and finding out if something worked. Of course, I'm very interested in if something worked, but I'm only interested if people are engaged with making a solution work or coming up with a solution. Um, I'm also not at all interested when somebody asks me to do strategic planning where I'm supposed to be the expert. I'm not interested. So, so that, that's how my life has been impacted. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, uh, because of that, I've been able to have that rub off on other people. And I, I think working a lot in Africa, um, recently in Asia, uh, but mostly in Africa, um, it's rubbed off on people who begin to see that there's another way that groups can work together. And Africa, Africans are so used to the expertise, I, s I suppose it's not only African, it's also Asian, that you know, expertise is so highly valued and that if the expert says you have to do this, then you have to do that. And of course we've seen over and over again that it has led to disastrous consequences. And uh, so it's about people having confidence in their own ability to, to contribute to whatever it is that they need to contribute.